WMAR 2 News is Mark Roper is live outside of the Baltimore County Executive Offices with what happens next. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Chris. You know, Johnny O took the lead with only nine points, proving the saying that every vote counts. Meanwhile, fellow Democrat candidate Jim Brochin is considering asking for a recount of those votes. And politics is in Johnny O's blood. His dad was a former county councilman. He served two terms in the State House of Delegates. Now he is set to add Baltimore County Executive to his resume. After the primary, the race for county executive looked to be a near three-way tie. Now it's come down to one candidate with a nine point lead. Meanwhile, State Senator Jim Brochin tells his supporters he's thinking of asking for a recount, but he did congratulate Johnny O on his winning campaign. Well, it certainly affirms that every vote counts. And, uh, you know, I, I, as, a, as an old government, as a former government teacher, that's very near and dear to my heart. And I hope that residents across not just Baltimore County, but across Maryland and anyone watching uh, recognizes just how precious a vote is and how important it is to get out and be part of the process. Now, if the numbers stay the same in a recount, it could pitch two east side guys up against each other. That would be uh, Democrat Johnny O up against Republican Al Redmer from Perry Hall. Live in Towson, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.